Hi, this is Hank Hanegraaff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Man broadcast with another Hank Unplugged short. Let me start by saying this. I I thought that I had become shockproof, but I, I, I recognized that I'm not there yet. What I'm talking about is a picture that I saw this week of the first biological male to win Miss America competition in New Hampshire. And then I, then I heard his words. He said, I'm ecstatic to be the first transgender woman to be a Miss America local title holder, and I hope to make everyone proud and become the first to walk the Miss America stage. Now, if you're not cheering, the sentiment would be that you're probably not not woke enough, that you haven't awakened to the alleged layers of pervasive social oppression with respect to race, sexuality, and in this case, gender constructs that decouple gender from biological sexual realities. As I watch this, this scene play out, the first thought that went through my mind is why are the fellow contestants, the women, why are they cheering? Why are they going along with the ruse? Is it out of fear? Are they afraid to be labeled as being out of step with progressive wokeism? With, with the alleged new great American awakening, or maybe better yet, the new American awakening. Here you have a clear example of absurdity. An example in which a picture is worth a thousand words. Just look at it. Because when you do, one thing is absolutely clear. The pageant is no longer about authentic feminine beauty. This is a charade. And yet, all too often we are, we are quiet. I suppose we too fear that if we say something, we're going to be out of touch with social trends. We're going to be considered backward or benighted. But we do need to say something. And not only that, within our own family units, within our churches, we need to teach our children to give them principles to live by so that they're not swept along by this, this radical wokeism tide. Well, thanks for tuning in.